subscribe for vlogmas hello you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel before i even get into it let's address the elephant in the room obviously i've been going through it recently hence my cold sore and my abriva cream on it so let's forget about that because i have to have it on so this is full transparency me in the raw going through it <laughs> hello yes it's been quite a while since i last vlog since I posted a vlogmas video just quite a while since a lot of different things and I just wanted to say I'm trying my hardest to get back on track and everything like that but one thing is I will not apologize for having to take a break for myself because I just push myself so hard sometimes that I literally physically start to feel it and I was and still kind of am so i just wanted to take a second to say that but yeah if this cold sore is going to bug you this whole video i won't be offended if you click off but for the real ones sorry you have to look at this but today is thursday december 17th i've been home from indiana for about almost a week now um i guess i'll just update you on a few things that have happened since then i physically started deteriorating <laughs> that makes any sense i got a cold sore which usually happens either like when I travel or like with a lot of stress or when like there's huge weather changes which is obvious going from here to Indiana to Indiana to here it's a lot of stress on my lip which always happens to me so I wasn't very surprised about that and then also if you don't know I have had tooth problems for literally probably over a year now which is crazy and horrible I know but if you've been following me for a while you would know I have needed a root canal on one of my molars for a few months now and it's taken forever to get the insurance to approve the root canal and just to get a consultation with the dentist and it's literally so much stress and it's just been very hard so since i've still needed a root canal it swelled up for the second time got infected for the second time um last week has made me feel so sick and out of it and the infection like last time it happened it was just horrible i was literally sick for like a day like i'm so out of it and i still kind of am not gonna lie because of all that i feel like my non-diagnosed anxiety but i think should be diagnosed soon um has really been taking a toll on me it's nothing like i've ever really felt before and it really 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 sucks so i do eventually want to go check that out and see what the deal is with that because i know it's something that's apparent in my life which sucks and i've just kind of blown it off for so long because it hasn't really been too bad but recently it's been really hurting so that's that and i didn't want to film videos i didn't want to post instagram pictures acting like everything was 100 percent okay because obviously it wasn't and i was really struggling and like i said still kind of am i'm still feeling the physical pain a little bit but i just wanted to update you a little on about that's where I've been. I stayed at my boyfriend Keikoa's for the first four-ish days when I got back because he picked me up from the airport and that's when I like everything happened so I just really needed to rest so I stayed there for a few days. I came back home yesterday night? No two nights ago. See, I'm so out of it. <laughs> Came back home two nights ago and ever since then I've been just trying to get my life back together. There's literally so much, so much. Like my room is a literal disaster right now and if you know me, you know that's not like me at all whatsoever. So let's just take a sneak peek. Literally boxes everywhere, trash everywhere, and my address is probably all over those boxes, so I'm going to try not to show you all that. But today, I've really just been trying to get back into the swing of things. I did my makeup, finally got the strength to shower, trying to get back into it, and just trying to feel back at 100% again. Um, Yeah, this tooth has just caused me so much heartache and headache and some literal pain, so once I can get my root canal on January 5th, I will be a whole new woman. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys? I've literally missed you so much, so comment down below if you want to update me on anything that's happened recently just anything i really want to know because i haven't talked to you guys in so long and i feel like it's been really sad that i haven't talked to you in so long so let me know how things are going and let's chat <laughs> i finally finished christmas shopping yesterday which is so good and so exciting um but everything's starting to come in the mail and it's pretty overwhelming trying to hide everything because i'm not wrapping everything until i get everything in the mail because i'm going to be doing a wrap with me video but i just keep getting things and just piling them in my closet because I have nowhere else to put them. Baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a light. Been an angel all year, Santa baby, so I'll wait on the chimney tonight. 
night. Okay, I just threw all my laundry on the bed and I need to fold all of that and put it all away soon, but I got kind of hungry, so I decided to make a tiny little lunch type of deal. This looks so weird and so unappetizing, but it's just mini grilled cheeses with Hawaiian sweet rolls and vegan mozzarella cheese. And they're so good, even though they're so weird. So I'm going to eat this, drink some water, and then start folding laundry. Okay, I just finished eating my little mini lunch. To be honest, my appetite has not been there recently, like ever since I had this toothache. So I have not been eating a lot at all recently, and it's so bad, and it's probably partially why I feel so out of it also. So all of it together is just not, not good. But I'm going to fold all my laundry now and put it all away because I've been dreading this part of today for so long. So I'm going to fold everything, probably watch a video while I do it. in here so I had to turn on my light because it's very gloomy outside but I made a yes style order um a couple weeks ago before I left so that I can get here when I was gone and it did and I just picked up like a bunch of random things but one thing I talked about this on my Instagram story right now because it's so crazy but one thing I picked up is this dress right here and if you know I have this one from Princess Polly I took pictures in it a while ago I posted a picture in it and I did it in a haul and it's such a cute dress amazing very expensive probably like I don't really remember exactly the price but probably around 60 or 70 dollars I know insane I saw this on yes style when I was browsing their website the same exact dress for eleven dollars um there's little like tiny minor differences but that's really it like the princess poly one has adjustable straps yes it doesn't you want to compare the slits um they're on opposite sides and obviously this one is not as good quality and not as big but literally other than that the same thing same exact lacing so crazy if you were to mix them up i probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference this is the dress by the way literally eleven dollars and 45 cents so crazy i can't believe that it's such a good dupe and they have it in black so okay something i have not done and that i definitely have been wanting to do ever since i finished finals is talk to you about finals and how they went so i thought this would be a good time to do it and also to talk about today's sponsor so thank you so much grammarly for sponsoring today's video when they reached out to me and wanted to work with me i was so so excited because grammarly is something that i've used for so long and it's just such an amazing tool for any student to use grammarly is a digital writing assistant so i personally have Grammarly Premium, which is an amazing way to go. <laughs> so Grammarly Premium really just keeps you looking professional and sounding professional by keeping your writing very concise and effective. Especially during finals week, Grammarly helps me so much writing my final papers, writing final emails to all my professors, and all that jazz. Getting the Grammarly browser extension is so easy to do. All you have to do is install Grammarly and sign up for an account. And what you're going to do is go on the homepage, go into your apps, and then you're going to see Grammarly for Chrome. So if you want the Chrome extension, all you have to do is press install, which I obviously already have installed. One thing that I love about Grammarly and what I use it for specifically is for expanding my vocabulary. So Grammarly really helps you just replace boring words with more exciting, meaningful, and effective words. And Grammarly also helps you rewrite full sentences so that you can improve your clarity and cut down on unnecessary words and run on sentences. And they do all this so that you can have a clear communication and just get your point across more clearly. You can also use their plagiarism detector, which is in Grammarly editor to make sure that your writing is your own writing. Ultimately, Grammarly helps you transform your writing to help you be understood better by either your professors, your peers, whoever you are writing to. So you can go to grammarly.com slash Lauren Doan or you can check the exact link out in the description box if you'd rather just click on that. Thank you so much to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate it so much. Okay, I just took a few minutes to email my professors and just say thank you and I highly recommend doing that, especially this semester when everything's online because teachers are probably going crazy along with students and they deserve thank yous and just recognition for all that they're going through. Uh, just along with us so if you haven't done that i think you really should it's just a really good feeling and then hearing back from them is always a really good feeling as well 
So now for a finals and semester recap. This was my junior year fall semester of college that I just finished. It was a little bit hectic, not gonna lie. I took a couple very, very difficult classes which caused me to struggle a little bit. School has always come pretty easy to me. If not easy, then just I just really know how to manage my time and how to just prioritize things and organize and I'm a very organized and dedicated person. So school ultimately just has never been that hard for me but um a couple classes this semester just really got the best of me work wise and just being online obviously which i know is hard for everybody but i ended up doing pretty well in all my classes the one that i was only like a little bit afraid of was my abnormal psych class which you all would probably know if you have been watching me is that i've been kind of struggling in that class failing all my exams but I ended up doing pretty good on the final. I got a C instead of a D like I got on my last one, my last exam in that class. I did a bunch of extra credit opportunities, so ultimately my grade bumped up to a B minus, which so satisfied with. I think I ended up with two B's, um, one in that class and then one in my literature class because that class was kind of hectic as well with all the reading quizzes every single class. Other than that, I did pretty well in all my other ones. That's pretty much all. I'm so glad that we ended um, this semester so early because it gave me so much of December to do other things with and I'm very happy about that And the reason we ended early is because they wanted to just cut down on travel of like traveling before Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving For students that do live on campus and stuff So they wanted to just do it earlier, but that doesn't mean we had less class They just crammed everything into more time. So that's it for a fall recap So looking forward into spring semester. I technically do not start spring semester until March March, which is crazy. So I'm taking I believe four classes next semester But I am taking one during their spring mini term Which is basically a small online class that you can take from January to March and They provided a free class for us if we wanted to take one just to take advantage of this opportunity So I was like why not I can take one online class for three months that's fine because literally if I wasn't I'd probably go crazy and obviously spend more time on YouTube I'm going to be doing both anyways so yeah so that's that I'm gonna be taking one class and then I'm gonna be taking like four I think during the normal semester so I have a little bit of a break until then about a month until I start my one class so that's pretty good now I can spend a lot of time on YouTube and content for you which is exciting but yeah that's all for the little recap um it's currently 4:10. the sun is starting to set and Keiko is going to come over tonight because him and my dad are going to go golfing tomorrow so he's going to spend the night we're probably just going to watch bachelorette and stuff and i also need to go grocery shopping but i don't know if i'm going to do that today or tomorrow i mean they're going to do it when he comes or tomorrow sometime yeah i really like this vlog because i'm just able to catch you up on everything and get you up to speed with what's been going on because all realness i've been struggling and i owe it to you to explain everything to you so i think it's about time to reapply some abriva so i think we can do that together someone tell me why this little tube is 22 dollars mm, i don't know i really don't know i wish i knew but i don't and here we are looking better than ever <laughs> okay right now i'm just going to edit a little bit of a video really quickly that i need to do and then i'll catch you guys back up once i'm done with that say hi oreo look how big he is guys no he can't go on my bed stop it Stop! Nope. Stay down there. Are you gonna eat now? Okay. Look who's here now. You look absolutely not there. Come here. I have to show them what candles I got and I need you to rate them. So they were like $9 each, I think. From where? Back in Body Works on candle day. And I got a few candles. Two vanilla balsam which I'm burning one right now. Well, it's all gonna be tainted. I literally can't smell. I don't smell anything. It smells like that. Oh my God. Okay, so what do you rate it? Mm, I don't know. I can't rate them until I smell them all. Yeah, they're not on a scale, just. Next one is winter. I didn't smell this before I bought it, but the packaging was cute, so. It's like not trying on clothes before you buy them. Well, I ordered these online, so I obviously couldn't smell them. It smells like salt. 
salt and pine cones salty pine cones interesting next i got tis the season which is a classic you only have like a few days to use all these candles I might gift some to some people too like my mom this one smells I don't know. It was like kind of like minty. Um, next is vanilla snowflake. This is probably my least favorite. So it smells good. It smells like lotion. Yeah, that's weird. Why do you want your candle smelling like lotion? Yeah. It doesn't smell like a vanilla snowflake, that's for sure. I thought it was going to smell more vanilla-y, but it does. Last one is tree farm. I love this one. Mmm, not a fan. I just don't like the smell of trees that much. <coughs> I love the smell of trees. This really does smell like a tree farm. Okay, that's all. There's the candles. We are gonna watch Bachelorette. If you've been following, oh, stop. If you've been following along, let us know who your fave is, and then we're gonna eat dinner, and then that's it. It's babe, oh my gosh. Okay. Talk to you after. That's Aiden's tickle spot. Duh, that's everyone's tickle spot. Okay, well, we had some dinner. We had some tamales and some fried rice. And now it's 8.48. We finished watching The Bachelorette. Tears. So sad. <laughs> Not gonna spoil it in case any of you haven't seen it yet, but I'm very sad. That's all I'm gonna say. And we've basically just been watching YouTube videos. We're like well, he has always been obsessed with the Sidemen. It's literally just like a group of guys from like the UK um, who do a bunch of random videos and like Among Us videos and stuff. So we always watch those like all the time. But we just love watching their videos together because they're very, very funny. So if you're also a Sidemen fan, let me know in the comments and we can talk about them too because I'm obsessed with their videos. They're actually very entertaining. Uh, <sighs> What'd you just do? Took care of business. I was telling them about my side men addiction <laughs> and how you put that on me and how that's what we've been doing and I want to watch this one. unless you already watched it. I'm the reporter, baby, you can be the news, cause you're the 